Morgan Wallen just broke a major chart record. Drake is heading out on tour with 21 Savage. History was made at the Academy Awards. We get all the tea from R&B legends escape. And Lil Yachty shares five things you should know about him. Happy Monday, guys. I'm Tetris, and we've got some major Hot 100 news to get to. Morgan Wallen is doing that thing Morgan Wallen does, and he's making history on our charts. You, should know, you, should know. you may have already heard, but his new album, One Thing at a Time, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart dated March 18th, with 501,000 equivalent album units earned in the United States. It's the biggest debut of the year. His last album, Dangerous, the double album, met the chart for 10 weeks. But that's not even the biggest news. You and me, I know that last night we let the liquor talk. Over on the Billboard Hot 100, his track Last Night is at number one, with number seven through 10 also occupied by the country star. And one more thing, all 36 of the album's tracks have made it onto the Hot 100, the most for any artist ever. The record was previously held by Drake with 27 songs on the July 14, 2018 dated list. Speaking of Drake, add him to the list of people I gotta see live this year. Drake is hitting the road for the first time in five years, and this time he'll be touring with 21 Savage. You make me feel these days. Drake announced the It's All a Blur Tour 2023 on Insta with a montage of moments from previous tours, including footage of his son Adonis. The last time he went on tour, he was joined by Migos. Since then, Drake's dropped four albums, one of which was the record-breaking joint album Her Loss, featuring his new touring partner, 21 Savage. The tour is being toted as a celebration of the last decade, and it all kicks off in New Orleans on June 16th. And will make 29 stops in North America, with more dates and locations, including Drake's hometown of Toronto, to be added later. For more info on how you can get tickets for Drake and 21 Savage's tour, head to Billboard.com. We here at Billboard love music, obviously, but we also love movies, so we gotta talk about the Oscars. And the Oscar goes to everything, everywhere, all of them. The 2023 Oscars were last night, and here's what we think you should know. It was a big night for everything, everywhere, all at once at the Academy Awards, with the film taking home seven awards, including Best Picture. But how did our favorite musical acts fare? Austin Butler did not win the award for Best Actor for his portrayal of Elvis. Many said his rendition of The King was a star-making performance, and with the death of Lisa Marie Presley shortly after the Golden Globes in January, some were hoping to see Austin pay tribute to the both of them. Me up, hold me down. Both Rihanna and Lady Gaga were up for Best Song with Lift Me Up from Riri and Hold My Hand from Gaga. But it was Natu Natu from the film RRR that took home the trophy. If you're a fan of R&B and drama, boy do I have a treat for you. Billboard's Gail Mitchell sat down with the iconic girl group Escape to talk about their amazing careers and their new Bravo show, SWV and Escape, the Queens of R&B. Okay, well you got the Queens of R&B show, which is SWV and Escape, and it's basically showing the ins and outs of our lives, personally and collectively as a group, and then we're trying to do something that we've never done with another 90s group, the SWV girls. So you're gonna see like a lot of back and forth with our own group, and then we have like moments where, you know, Escape and SWV are not always getting along. You'll see a different side of us and everybody on this new Bravo show. Are we ready to see SWB and Escape tonight? Two iconic groups coming together? Oh my goodness. Ladies, I have to ask the obvious question. We are missing a fourth member. Where's Latasha? During the time of the TV show, there were a lot of things that we needed to deal with personally that we're still dealing with. <laughs> You'll see a lot of it You'll still unfold see it on, on uh, yeah, Bravo. Sure. If you're heading down to Austin like we are, you can catch Lil Yachty on the stage at South by Southwest. To prepare for his epic performance, here's five things you should know about him. 
Yo, what's up? This is Lil Yachty, and these are five things you might not know about me. One thing is, I've never had a vegetable before. It's a weird fact, but it is a fact. Two, uh, for 17 years of my life, until I signed my record deal and moved out, I lived in the same house. So I grew up in the same house, lived in the same room, and just kind of lived in the same area. So it was a big thing for me to like leave home and, and leave my mom's house and shit. Three, uh, I worked, uh, I only had two jobs prior to doing music. I worked at McDonald's and Six Flags. Four, like 2018 or 2019 when I was shooting for How High 2, after I finished filming, I had just dyed my hair red. And I remember the movie finished. In October, I wanted to raise awareness and support breast cancer month. So I dyed my hair again to dye it pink. After two or three bleaches, my hair fell out. I had to put like extensions in my head and no one ever noticed. But for like two years, I was wearing like red extensions until my hair grew back healthy. And I just decided to never color my hair again because bleach was just killing my hair. And so like once I stopped dyeing it, it just started to grow so long. And now it's like, you know, past my chin. You know, five or all the way up until like five months ago, five, six months ago, I've never lived alone. I wish I did it sooner because <laughs> I lived with like 15 people. You know, like I had like 15 of my friends living with me. I just kind of never wanted to be alone, but it was very expensive and, and just, it's tiring because, uh, you know, just people don't really respect your stuff like that and, and the house gets all fucked up. So those are five things that you probably didn't know about me. I don't, probably don't even care, but yeah. That's it for today. Make sure you come back tomorrow for my interview with Shinsia. Plus, we catch up with the other half of Bravo's SWV and Escape, the queens of R&B. This is Billboard News.